Hi, my name's Dale, I'm the head of brand for Airfix, and let's take a look at the 2022 product range. This year we have two new products to our quick build range. The first, our Jeep Quicksand concept with its flame paint scheme is bound to capture the imagination of any young modeler. To complement the Quicksand, we're also introducing the Jeep Gladiator Overland, a long wheelbase variant, but still with the iconic Jeep styling. We're really excited to introduce three new tooled 143rd scale cars to the starter set range this year. We start with two supercars, the Bugatti Chiron and Bugatti Huayra, both in 43rd scale and come moulded in the base colours as seen on the packaging, red or blue. The Bugatti contains 39 parts, the Bugatti 33. In addition to the two new supercars, we've tooled a 43rd scale Jaguar E-Type with fantastic detail and only 23 parts moulded in BR green. Lastly, we are reintroducing the 1400 scale Mary Rose within our starter set range. Starter sets include paint, glue and brushes, everything you need to start this fantastic hobby. Designed with a beginner in mind, our new starter sets include fewer smaller parts than traditional Airfix kits, all aimed at giving the best experience for the modeler from the outset. First introduced in 2014, the Bristol Blenheim Mark IV F in 172nd scale is making a return to the Airfix range after eight years. Of the 4,422 Blenheims produced, over 3,000 of them were Mark IVs, with around 60 converted to 4Fs. The Bristol Blenheim first entered service in 1937, and after seven years it was retired from the RAF in 1944. An iconic Luftwaffe bomber, the Heinkel 111 first flight took place in 1935 and went on to see service on every front in the European theatre. This will be the third release of this 172nd scale kit since it was tooled in 2015. The box illustration and decal option represents an aircraft which was shot down by a Blackburn skewer of 801 Naval Air Squadron in Norway, but has since later been recovered and restored. A workhorse of the Second World War, the Douglas C-47 Skytrain was produced in great numbers by the Allies and is arguably known for its role in D-Day and Operation Market Garden. This Series 8 kit in 172nd scale was first introduced in 2014 and has been released four times to date. The first scheme is of 92nd Troop Carrier Squadron in 1944 with D-Day stripes and nose artwork. Kilroy is here a meme that became popular during the Second World War. The second depicts that of the Military Air Transport Service, MATS, in Canada, 1949, and includes skis. A first rare fix will have all three V-bombers in 72nd scale in the range at the same time. The new tooled Falcon, the recently released Valiant, and for 22, the reintroduction of the Handy Page Victor. Back in the same schemes as it was originally released in 2016, the Victor B Mark II in 172nd scale. The two decal schemes included are XL 512, 139 Squadron RF Wittering in 1964, and XL 189 RF Wittering 1968. The latter went on to serve as a tanker during the Black Butt raids on the Falkland Islands. Reintroduced with new schemes, the 172nd scale Supermarine Spitfire F Mark 22, first tooled in 2012. This is only the second time this kit has been released. The F-51D was the same airframe as wartime P-51. The pursuit designation changed to fighter after the war with the formation of the US Air Force. The F-51 performed a variety of roles after the war, including service with many Air National Guard squadrons as well as a frontline action during the Korean War. This 2012 tooling has only ever been released once as a F-51D over the previous nine releases. A 2015 tooling, the 172nd scale F-4 Wildcat. This release includes two new deco options. The first deco option shows an aircraft that took part in the Allied invasion of North Africa, Operation Torch, flying from the USS Ranger the last mark before the famous Harrier retired from RAF and Fleet Air Armed Service in 2011, the BAE Harrier GR9. First released in 2011, 
this one 70 second scale kit has only ever been released once before as a classic. The 170 second scale Fairy Swordfish Mark I was retooled in 2012 and has been released six times in various guises since. This year marks the 80th anniversary of the Channel Dash and our box illustration depicts W5984H as flown by Lieutenant Commander Eugene Esmond, VC DSO during Operation Fuller, 11th of February 1942. This kit can also be built with its wings folded. Due for release in time for the 40th anniversary of the Falklands conflict, this 172nd scale Harrier FRS-1 was first released back in 2010 and has seen a number of iterations since. This release includes two new deco options, XZ459 of 800 Naval Air Squadron aboard HMS Hermes in 1982, which first launched an attack on munition ship Rio Carcarena. To date, the English Electric Lightning remains the only UK designed and built fighter interceptor to be capable of Mach 2. This release includes two new schemes not seen before in 172nd. The first Griffin powered Spitfire, the Mark 12, was an interim design with only 100 being built. This 148 scale release includes two new deco options, including one with D Day markings. A recent tooling, the 148 scale North American P 51D Mustang, was introduced in 2017 and has been released four times, but only once with parts to build a K variant. This kit includes two new deco options the Milli G of the US Army Air Force based at RAF Wormingford in 1944, and B-Scheme Frisco Kid, which is a P-51K. A much requested re-release, the Airfix 148 scale Western Navy Lynx. This kit has only ever been released once since it was first tooled in 2012. This release will include a new decal option, that of the last Lynx to fire Sea Skewer missile, but also wore special retirement nose artwork. Known as the Flying Pencil, the Dornier 17 was later dropped in favour for the JU-88. The 17Z had a larger bomb load and better low level performance, along with upgraded armament, but it was let down by its relative low range. Another first for Airfix, this 148 scale Supermarine Spitfire F Mark 18. The base of this kit was first released in 2019 but with the addition of a new rocket sprue, we were able to release this new mark of Spitfire. Previously released in 2021 as a Canada Air Sabre F4, this North American F86 F40 Sabre in 48 scale is made possible by extending the wingspan and new leading edge slats parts. This release will include two new deco options, the first of the Royal Norwegian Air Force and second of the Japanese Air Self-Defense Force. After the success of our 148 scale version, we're excited to introduce our new tooled Meteor F8 in 172nd scale. The F8 was a significant upgrade on the F4, which was fitted with a new tail design and carried more fuel. A scheme represents that of Desmond Villiers, the first person to break the sound barrier in an open cockpit and carries quite distinctive markings. The new tool Avro Anson Mark I in 148 scale. A highly detailed model kit with superb interior features. First introduced in 1936 and retired by the RAF in 68, a total of 11,020 Ansons were built, with just shy of 7,000 being Mark I. The schemes included in this kit have been chosen to represent the wide variety of roles undertaken by the Anson during its service. A scheme represents N9732, the 500 Squadron, based at RAF Detlin in 1940. This aircraft was attacked by BF109s whilst patrolling the Dunkirk evacuation. During the same sortie, it shot down two 109s and damaged another. B scheme is of AW665, 71st Squadron of the Royal Australian Air Force, and its experimental anti-submarine scheme being trialled at the time. C scheme represents an earlier version with a more attractive sloped canopy and an RAF trainer paint scheme. Our most highly requested kit of recent times, a 148 scale Buccaneer S2 Royal Navy variant. 288 parts, foldable wings and air brake and four schemes in the box. 
Introduced in 1962, 211 were built and saw service with the RAF, Fleet Air Arm and South African Air Force before being retired in 94. This kit has some outstanding detail, including folding wings, removable engine hatch covers and opening air brake. It also includes four deco options. The first, an S2D armed with Martel missiles included in the release. Extras included in this kit are TV and AR missiles with TV guidance pod, Royal Navy rocket pods, a thousand pound freefall bombs and Royal Navy slipper tanks. So here it is, our new super kit 2022. 124 scale Spitfire Mark 9C with over 12 months in development, 400 plus parts. It's certainly a kit that you need in your collection. A kit worthy of the title Super Kit. This 124 scale Spitfire Mark 9C is something special. Whilst a model cannot be built without the fuselage and wings, this render really shows off the incredible detail included. The cockpit detail leaves no dial or wire untouched. The Rolls-Royce Merlin engine is a beautiful detailed model in its own right. We've carefully chosen the decal schemes to show a number of variants, which include early and late intakes and breech blisters, plus clipped wings. A scheme ML214 of the 126 Persian Gulf Squadron in 1944. This aircraft later featured distinctive nose art and keel markings, which are included. B scheme EN398, 402 Squadron, 1943. An early Mark 9 with different engine intakes and breech blisters. This aircraft was later flown by Johnny Johnson. C scheme, this aircraft was flown by Garth Jarrett, CO of the 309th Fighter Squadron whilst based in Italy. The aircraft wore his initials and was named Eleanor. And finally, D scheme, MJ, 897 of the French Air Force, a particularly colourful scheme that utilises the clip wings included in the kit. Our box illustration shows the Mark 9C patrolling over the convoy to D-Day, June 6, 1944. And to our 135th scale armour range this year, we're releasing three new products. The first of which is our Stern Panzer IV Brumbar with two new deco options. 306 built and a crew of five, early vehicles were too heavy for the chassis, which led to frequent breakdowns. Our new Stug 4 includes two new deco options from the Eastern Front in 1944. And lastly, our Panzer III, developed in the 1930s and used extensively during the Second World War. These three introductions are a staple for any 135th scale armour modeller. The Airfix Vintage Classic range sees a number of old favourites reintroduced many of which haven't been seen in the market for a number of years. Initially released in 1963 and back in time for the 40th anniversary of the Falklands conflict, the 1 to 600 scale HMS Devonshire. Another return for the 40th anniversary, the 1 600 scale HMS Fearless. Last released back in 2005 and first tooled in 1968. This release includes one landing craft as seen in the illustration. First released in 1962, the 176 scale JS3 tank. It was last seen in the FX range in 2011 and goes perfectly with our next reissue, Second World War Russian infantry figures. These figures were tooled two years after the JS3 tank in 1964. Tooling first introduced in 1974, the type 97 Shiha medium tank in 76 scale. A perfect pairing for our next re-release, Second World War Japanese infantry figures again in 76 scale. This figure set was first introduced back in 1974. First released in 1967, the 72nd scale Fiat G50 is making a comeback to the range after being released in the late 90s. Initially released in 1968, and a fairly recent reissue, the Beagle Bassett 206 was last released in 2016, after we asked customers what existing tooling they wanted to see back in the range. The F-80C Shooting Star in 172nd scale. Tooled in 1973 and last seen in the range back in 1999. Dating back 60 years, this 1956 72nd scale kit for Westland Whirlwind is making a return to the range after a 23 year rest. It keeps coming back. The CA-13 Boomerang 72nd scale kit has seen 10 releases since it was first tooled in 1965. The Boomerang's last release was back in 1998. 
Back into the range since 2007, the 72nd scale de Havilland Beaver, first released in 1971. This kit also includes floats. The first jet super kit from Airfix, the Hawker Sidley Harrier GR1 in 124 scale. First released in 1974, the Harrier GR1 is worthy of the title super kit, even with today's standards. The box illustration depicts XV-788 of one squadron, RAF Wittering. This aircraft later crashed in Belize after a bird strike in 1975. That's our 22 product range. Uh, some exciting new products in there, uh, new tools, classic releases, and uh, we look forward to releasing them during the course of the year. Thanks for watching.